Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all doing great. My name is Hemant Boru and in today's tutorial, we will learn how to create a cinematic poster for the newly released movie Everything Anywhere All at Once. We will turn this original poster into a mystical design. So let's dive into multiverse. Here we go. So let's jump into the photoshop, give it a file name and other setting as per your needs. After that press ctrl plus alpha rulers and drag grid lines from upper and left bars. Click on the shape tool and choose ellipse tool and hold shift and drag left click and create a circle. Also create a circle in the same way but keep stroke with no fill and give some weight to the stroke. Now click on the file menu and click on place embedded and choose our lead character Evelyn and click open and then place over the shapes. Beside the layers panel, click on the channels panel, choose the brightest channel and drag over the create a new channel button and create a duplicate channel. Now choose the burn tool and select exposure in the range of 10 to 20 and choose ranges to shadow. As we will darken the shadow part of our channel layer. As you can see, I am darkening the sh shadow part of our channel layer. And also you can use different kind of brush. So if you go to the a brush setting you can choose from this soft brush to the most hard brush so let me try my hard brush and okay now it's not working because it's pretty hard and it's really affecting the channel so i'm again switching back to my previous brush and i will again use the same method and will try to make it more softer and smoother to make uh, outside uh, borders of the image a bit darker you need to choose lasso tool from the tools panel and to try to make a loose selection of the image not so precise and also after selecting the outside borders of the image you need to press x which will change the foreground color to black and then you need to press uh, alt press backspace which will change the border color to black now from the brush panel choose a smoother brush and rub all across the image so that you will remove all those white borders and those white blemishes uh, by doing this process your image will look more professional and it will have a less white marks and you can able to see that your my image is looking now better far better than before now click on the dodge tool and choose the midtone to highlights and just brush over the image it will give more of a highlighted kind of a tone to the image as you can see my image now becoming more brighter as from the previous now uh, again choose the lasso tool and just uh, give a rough cut to the image no need to precise and change the foreground color to white by pressing x and change the layer to white by pressing alt backspace and then just rub all over the image to remove those uh, black spots those white marks those kind of a things and after that selecting those borders and selecting or defining the image layer you need to press ctrl and it will select the layer and go to the layer panel choose the layer mask button your new layer has been created now from the adjustment option choose a solid color choose white and then press ok then drop it below the layer mask and also click a new layer and just right click on top of it and create a new clipping mask from the brush menu you can choose a brush and press alt which will take the foreground color as white and you start rubbing all over the image removing those black spots also you can take a softer brush also you can change the blending mode to color it will blend with the background which is white so now can you can just start rubbing all over her image so we can see that those black borders are now going out and the image look more professional now select on the layer mask and press ctrl and then click select and mask option here just play with settings like smooth contrast feather and shift edge also try brush to remove white borders and then if you're satisfied then press ok 
and click on the layer mask and from the filter menu choose sharpen and then choose sharpen by keeping the foreground color white you can choose the brush and just rub all over the borders of the image it will make your image more sharp and it will remove all the blur effect click on the place embedded from the file menu choose the file just bring it on the document select it and click on the select and mask and then do the setting as you like and then place over the document and for the third image Jim Curtis uh, we can do the same thing as we did for the joy which is our second character so we just select the image using quick selection tool then click on the select and mask choose the settings and then choose the layer mask and just drop over the document for the fourth character we first uh, drop into our document choose it from the file menu and as you can see i have selected my image just drop it then press q then choose the brush and then start rubbing all over image by keeping the foreground color black this technique is basically used for a very poor quality image and also for the precision kind of selection so i am uh, selecting this method for this character because my image quality is uh, pretty much poor it's just a screenshot from the movie so i don't think so other method will work you can choose any method as you like after brushing all over the image you can press uh, q uh, so q will uh, select only the background not the image to select the character you need to press ctrl shift i and after that you need to uh, press select and mask and you can choose the setting as you like just select uh, after that layer mask and play, uh, place it over the document for the gong gong character just uh, select the quick selection tool and the last selection for the better selection and in the select and mask option just uh, select the options and to get a better image and also from the filter gallery choose uh, sharpen and from the smart sharpen choose gaussian blur to make image more sharpening so i am using another character of evelyn uh, just choose the image place it over the document uh, use the quick selection tool to select the image and if some other parts have been selected just use the lasso tool by pressing alt deselect it and then use the select option to smoothen the image and after doing that you need to place it over the image and uh, just uh, try to make a better orientation of it the main villain of this uh, movie is uh, Choi Topaki so I haven't found um, her uh, kind of uh, image in uh, like in internet so I have uh, gone through the poster of the movie and I thought let's cut the and I'm corrected so for that I use the polygonal lasso tool which is below the lasso tool so I have gone over the image and try to make a rough cut so you can do many kind of a thing like quick selection tool or whatever like that uh, I show you that standard mode like when you press Q you can still, uh, use the brush you can just rub over it and that method you can also use for the precise cut I thought let's I, I show you another method so that you can learn something out of it so you can use this polygonal lasso tool also it's up to you you can use any kind of a method um, because photoshop has millions of methods so you can use any of the methods after cutting that uh, I need to press right click uh, choose some feather which is between the 0.1 range to I think 100 so I choose 1 feather is nothing but but the extension of the border so after that I select and mask and choose the settings and select the layer and like uh, drop over the my image so basically i will keep below the main uh, highlight of the image like the main character i will keep it beside of it uh, as per the poster also so i will keep the same kind of a setting here also to uh, give a magic spell kind of a ring from the doctor strange i've chosen this image and i am changing the blending mode to screen so that its uh, black background is will be faded out and i can play with some sort of opacity and i will place it behind the joy topaki also we can play with the fill so that your uh, it will look more natural 
I am done with it and I'm also like extending joy topaki because it was looking a bit uh, small uh, as you can see there are some white marks have been created I will go to the layer of Evelyn and use the brush and make foreground color black to remove those marks also I'm thinking about uh, giving a window to the beside to the ellipse shape so for that I have downloaded one image from the Doctor Strange so uh, just open that image use a round ellipse selection and then as you are done with it just you need to press the right click and to right click you need to choose a layer via copy and you need to drag this image to our um, main PSD file so just do the call selection and after that drag it over the image and just place it uh, beside the ellipse shape now I will give some color to the window for that I will click on the adjustment option and select a solid color red I will select the red and I will choose a clipping mask and I will press ctrl i to which will invert only the selected area so I will uh, paint red color and I change the blending option to overlay and I play with some sort of opacity so that it gives a nice touch also after that I will again choose a solid color I will give it a black and I will uh, do the clipping mask and press ctrl i to invert only which will only select the window and I will just rub all over the window and I will uh, choose the blending option color dodge so it's give a nice kind of effect to it to give some um, gun effect to the gong gong gun we first select the image and first we need to change it to RGB for that we need to click on the image go to the mode and choose RGB and then we use the eraser tool or press E to remove the background eraser tool nothing but it will just remove the background so we can see those pixels are gone those white marks are gone you can use it and so it's pretty easy to use it's like a brush only so only difference is that it removes the background and you can remove any kind of uh, things with it and for that just place over the gun like make it a bit smaller and change the blending mode to color dodge and that's it it's looking really nice wait to uh, giving a nice background to the image I have downloaded one dark pink color clouds image it's from the same movie so I go to the file menu and select that uh, image and after selecting that image uh, we need to remove the black border for that I need to select the rectangle marking and right click clear via copy a new layer will be created just use it and extend that image so that it will be all over the image and after just uh, keep it below every layer so that your background will look really nice we can play with number of uh, blending options I have chosen pin light it's really working with this image and after that I will uh, like import a fan Chinese fan for that I go to file menu and select the file and I will select the image using quick selection tool and go to select and mask option and play with those settings create a new layer mask and then just drop it into a main PSD file and uh, I am thinking about uh, keeping it above the ellipse tool so that it will give a nice kind of uh, effect to it so, uh, like placing it I just play with the blending option I play with overlay uh, color divide but I settle with hard mix uh, which gives me the most satisfaction you can choose as per your own preferences and your own likings this image lacks a Japanese castle so I will go to the file menu and choose a Japanese castle and I will place it before the dark clouds also I will uh, enlarge it and I will go to the blending option and increase the underlying layer which is the dark cloud 
so that uh, some sort of a mystic cloud will appear and then press ok so we bring another character Becky who she is a Joy's girlfriend select it and place it in the image and after that we'll select another character a chef with a raccoon for that we will use the standard method we press Q and then we brush with foreground color black to select the image and after doing that we press ctrl shift i to select the image not the background and we do the rest of the part as we did with earlier images also we'll bring a asset bill which is the main actor of this story so we use the same method we used earlier with the chef and the raccoon and just select it and place it in the image so if you see the movie you will come to know that what I am talking about it's also fun that we should add some funny character to the images also now we will uh, bring a solid color red and we will uh, use ctrl i to invert the color and we will uh, like use the brush which will draw the one half of the image and we choose the blending option like uh, color and again we use a solid color which is a blue and we use the same kind of a thing but with the other half of the image we rub all over the other half of the image and then we will play with the opacity so it will give some sort of an effect to the whole uh, composition and then we use some sort of a gray solid color so it will give a kind of a mist or cloudy effect to the image so uh, this composition needs a title for that we will press the type tool and we will start writing so just press the type tool uh, type over the composition and I will write the uh, main name of this movie and after doing that we will select the text and we will select the font family for that I have uh, used the Kubano and also I will choose the font size and I will give some sort of a line break and also adjust it and place it uh, in the composition in the below the main character now for the stroke ellipse shape first we select it and we will uh, click on the path selection and play with some of the stroke we give the pink as you can see it's not working we then play with the opacity and also we play with the blending option so it's not working so we go to the layer style and we change the underlying layer which is a dark cloud now it's working a bit kind of a, and then we can play with the blending option so we will choose the overlay and for the uh, fillable ellipse shape we just play with the blending option and first we play with some of the colors we give it a pink and it's not working so then we play with some of the um, blending option so that which will suit best for this image now uh, we will play with uh, color balance so color balance will give color tone to mid tone shadow and highlights first we select the main character go to the adjustment option select color balance and in the mid tone we give it a more red and also vibrance we give more such red vibrance then we play with most of the images characters we will uh, give it a red kind of a tone to this composition because i think this image is very warm kind of a movie so i think red is better suited for this composition uh, you can play with other things also i am also trying with exposure so it's also already available in the adjustment option you can play with it also i'm uh, play with every character and give some sort of a effect like 
exposure effect and also giving some color balance effect in their mid-tone highlights and their shadows basically all are turning towards the red or warm tone and I think we, which is the essential part of this image so this uh, composition lacking a bright light I will uh, bring a bright light to it uh, rearranging in the layers panel and I will also change this blending option to screen so that its black color will be removed and also place it over the ellipse tool and also play with some of its opacity so that it looks a bit subtle not so bright now click on the text and press ctrl T it will transform the text so you can resize it and after that you can right click on the text and choose the blending option and you can increase the underlying layer so that it will not so become bright and also you can give some sort of drop shadow to it by going the blending option just play over it which setting like uh, give nice thing to it I'm thinking about giving a Chinese title to it for that go to Google Translate type English first and choose a Chinese language just copy the text go back to Photoshop and just paste it and Adobe will automatically understand that this is a text and you can decide according to it so I like font size and everything so our main character needs some sort of a beautification uh, choose the main character the layer and then click on the effects choose drop shadow and you can play uh, over this settings also you can play with the blending options because uh, this will give some sort of a nice effect to it and if you are satisfied with it then you can press ok and continue with the other works so the joy needs some sort of a red eyes for that click on the file and choose place embedding and then choose a red light so I have chosen this image and then rearrange it in the layers panel and choose the blending option to screen and make a double image double layer by just pressing ctrl j and choose the opacity and just place it over her eyes same thing we will do with the wavement the only thing is that we will use a blue color instead of the red color it will also give a nice effect to the composition to give auto glow to the gunshot click right click on the layer and choose auto glow choose a yellow color and play with the settings it will give a some sort of a uh, like a yellow glow to it we can also give some sort of uh, color balance to the bill so as we can see it's appearing a bit of uh, blue color so for that uh, we will give some sort of uh, color balance a bit of reddish color so that overall it will give a nice uniform kind of a effect to it because it's looking a bit of different kind of a uh, effect to the overall composition so we will select the color balance and make it a shift towards red and we will like uh, go around with the shadows highlights and tools so I was thinking about giving some inner shadow and uh, stroke to the main villain so go to the layer and then choose the effects option just click on the layer and choose the effect option and then click on the inner shadow and you can change the setting according to it which suits better so I'm giving some sort of a subtle kind of effect also with this uh, shadow strokes or the stroke uh, you can give um, thick border also and a thin border also I'm giving, giving it a thin border so I'm overall I'm good with it then I press ok for giving a sort of paper falling effect 
to this whole composition uh, click on the file menu and choose the paper falling images and just uh, choose the blending option screen to uh, play with some sort of opacity and duplicate it by pressing ctrl j and and then rearrange it in the suitable places of the whole composition if you are getting confused that uh, image above the uh, main character which is a duplicate only is disappearing is nothing but i have deleted that layer i just go to the layer panel and delete that layer and also i have added a chinese decoration so this for this chinese decoration i have uh, selected the image make a nice selection and do the go to the select and mask and bring it back to this composition so these are the two things which are being got cut during the editing part so if you're wondering then i have i think i have resolved your query also so for the main title i'm thinking about giving it a stroke i go to the fx option and choose the blending option and i go to the stroke give it a white kind of a outer border not much like two or three and i play with the opacity and choose a blending option and then i will press ok and for the chinese character you can change the font type uh, from like uh, regular to bold so these are the two options which i am seeing here so you can change according to a need from google translate i will use some of the chinese text like metaverse and copy those chinese text and place beside the our villain joy topaki so uh, my goal is to uh, make the text white and also increase its font size so that uh, it will appear kind of a some sort of funky kind of a look to the whole composition so in the layers panel i just try to realign our chinese text uh, with uh, the paper falling images so that the whole composition looks a uh, more kind of a subtle and also it gives a kind of a uh, i mean to say like a chinese movie style kind of a, those kind of uh, poster so as you can see i am just uh, trying to realign those paper fallings and make the image look a uh, more uh, kind of a action kind of a thing so that what do, poster don't look so much or dull so in the layers panel i will create a new layer and in that layer i will use a brush and keep my foreground color black i just make a black border around the image so that uh, it will appear some kind of a vignette black vignette effect so after uh, uh, drawing that black border i will go to the uh, filter gallery i will choose the blur and i will choose gaussian blur and in the gaussian blur uh, my goal is to give it a maximum kind of a blackish kind of effect to the image so that uh, it looks really good for it yeah it's looking good now my next goal is to give a drop shadow to my two characters jim curtis and waymon for that in the layers panel i will choose those layers and click on the fx and choose drop shadow here i will just play with some of those settings so which will give some sort of a black contrast to the whole uh, image and also i play with the contour so sometimes uh, contour plays a major part in drop shadow you can choose according to your own needs and this is a re really kind of a nice learning if you play with those settings you will understand a lot of times this kind of uh, uh, effects which will really help in your composition so, as i am done with those settings because my uh, image is looking really nice so, uh, of 
after selecting all this i will just press ok uh, as i am not satisfied with the waymount character like drop shadow it's not appearing so much so i again go to the fx menu and choose drop shadow here i will again like play with some settings um, you can do as much as you can because uh, what happened in practical purposes sometimes what happen you try to do once but it's it didn't work then you will try again 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 sometimes it takes a lot of time to understand because it all depends on your whole composition and the image quality as i see that um, my main lead character evelyn her image is pretty well so from the adjustment option i choose exposure and from exposure i just play with it uh, try to increase its whole uh, intensity of the light and also use the clipping mask so that this effect only affect only the, the lead character not the other image i try to just play with the whole uh, setting which suits better and you can do your own kind of a settings play with some uh, negative or positive so it will give you a nice kind of ambiance and composition to your image also you can play with the blending option so i'm i will choose some other blending option from normal to hard mix uh, so that it will give a some sort of a new effect to the whole composition and i will click control i to the layer and press control i so that it will invert the colors and now using the brush tool i can again just rub all over the face and see which part needs the most kind of uh, those effects not the whole image so this is also a nice technique you can use in your image so that uh, you don't uh, do unwanted things to the image only the parts that need the most required things also i feel that the main uh, villain needs some sharpening so i go to the filter option and choose from the sharpen smart sharpen and play with some of the correct some of the values and i just choose to remove gaussian blur so that some blurness will be removed my whole uh, image needs some sort of a brightness so from the adjustment option just choose uh, brightness and give some some increasement of brightness now go to the file menu and choose a fire ring uh, realign in the layers panel and choose the blending option screen and just reposition it and then go to the blending option and choose auto glow so i just need some sort of a yellowish auto glow and also play with those settings after doing that i will go to the inner glow so it will give a same yellowish kind of a color and i'll change play with some setting then if you're satisfied then press ok realign the fire ring um, as well as the light which is above the lips shape and give it uh, like place wherever you want so that the whole composition look nice also you can play with the opacity part after that uh, i just play with the main title so i will make it a bit smaller and also to uh, increase the length of the characters i choose the increase the tracking so that every character uh, just a bit far from the whole sentence and you, as you can see my whole title is looking really nice also from the fx option i will choose outer glow um, so my goal is to give a bit of a red reddish kind of a look so as i'm doing i think i'm really like it and also change the underlying layer so the whole text will be looking really good and after doing that i will just make a group of whole layers so you can do that by pressing control g or simply drag those layers into the below group button option so this is to organize the whole uh, composition so that if you work uh, sometimes back 
you will understand that okay what are the things that i need to do so i think i am uh, fully done with this whole project i feel the whole composition looks really nice and i hope this tutorial helps you guys to learn something out of it thanks for watching this tutorial i hope this video will help you to create some awesome artworks and if you like the video please like it share it and subscribe to my channel and press notification icon for any new future updates please share your valuable feedback in comment section which help me to produce new videos and improve my content journey hope to see you again with some new video till then bye bye sayonara and grasses keep learning be creative thanks